Okay, this is the section number two. Uh, I mean, the session number two. Um, of this week number three, we are in the middle of this, uh, of this uh, week. So we are going to have the session number two, and we are going to explore uh, different topics. In this case, we are going to see two different topics. Um, also, we are going to see the intro video for the section number four, because you know, in this case, we are uh, going to work with the uh, section number four of the platform. So we are going to see what is um, the information that we can uh, receive in the intro video um, we are going to pay attention to the information to the details because in that case uh, um, we can find some uh, important information about this section and we are going to talk about uh, have and get something done and also i think we're going to talk about uh, three word phrasal verbs because in that case they have and get uh, something uh, done it is not like a very long topic it is a very very short topic because in that case we are going to see some uh, structures we are going to um, read some information and we are going to uh, learn something about the use of have and get something done. So in that case, it is not a, lo um, a very long topic. It's kind of easy to understand and it is kind of a simple topic. So in that case, we are going to have like a couple of minutes in which we are going to explain the use of that structure. And then we are going to talk about the next topic that is the three were phrasal verbs in which we're going to know um, what are that kind of phrasal verbs, what are the uses that we can uh, give to those uh, phrasal verbs. And also we are going to um, see some examples of those phrasal verbs because I have here some of these common phrasal verbs and uh, the meaning that we can give to those phrasal verbs. And an example. So in that case, there are like two uh, short topics. In this case, we're not going to see uh, long topics. There are very, very short topics. Uh, so it is not like kind of complicated. So we are going to have those uh, short, short uh, topics um, in this hour, in this uh, session. So we're going to begin with the things that we are going to do uh, in this uh, session because you know that we have just one hour and uh, we need to use that time to explain all the information that we have. So in this case, I was saying that we are going to see the intro video for the section number four. And we are going to work in some of the exercises that we have on the platform because we are like uh, doing that um, exercises uh, on time. Because you know that in this case, we are going to complete the section number four uh, for this week. And then we are going to work just on the section number five for the next week, that is the last one. So if you are like having trouble um with some exercises you can ask for help or if you are okay but that is very very good so i think we're going to wait um a couple of minutes one minute or two because we're going to see the intro video and there is not like uh, all the participants of the course in this uh, session. So we're just going to wait for them. And then we're going to begin with the video. And also we are going to uh, begin with the information that we have uh, for today. So. 
So let's see what it is. So just a minute and we're going to begin. I'm going to change uh, this uh, window or this like a screen because I have the video here and I'm going to have it prepared for the for the session and we're going to begin in a moment. So in this case, we have the intro video of the section number four, and we're going to pay attention to the information and the situations because you know that they are kind of different from the other videos because uh, we were talking about that information yesterday in which we were like remembering the different intro video that we have on the platform that I, I don't know if you um, rewatch the videos after the, the, um, after the section ends, because in that case, uh, when the section ends, you have like, more information about the structures and the, and the things that we learn about um, the different videos or um, get to know what are the information that we need to use um, in that case. So I don't know if you rewatch the videos, but um, in the first uh, video, we were talking about like uh, problems in a hotel. In the second one, we were talking about um, environmental problems. And the third one, we were talking about um, techniques uh, when you are learning something. And now we are going to see what is the main idea or the main topic that we are going to know in this intro video of the section number four. So let's pay attention to the video and the things that are happening in there. So let's begin. On the other sections, we have an intro video for you. Please take notes if you feel you need to. Enjoy. Hello? Yes, Pat. I'm working on that right now. Uh-huh. Okay. By five o'clock. Yes, okay. Thanks. What's up, Carmen? You look really stressed out. It's his job, Hugo. I'm constantly under pressure. My muscles are tense. My neck is stiff. My stomach is in knots. I just, I, I can't seem to relax. Yeah, stress is a killer. Well, one thing you could do is get some exercise. It's a great way to relieve tension. I tried that. Did it help? That's a long story. First, I tried skating. I love skating. How'd it work out? It didn't. Well, I'll say. Then I tried dance lessons. Oh, I love dancing. Me too. And so does my husband. But... But? He was a little too enthusiastic. Uh-huh. Well, have you thought about taking a yoga class? They say it's very relaxing. Yoga? Relaxing? Are you kidding me? You see this paper clip? Yes. This is what I'd look like after my yoga class. Ouch. There's always hypnotherapy. I've tried that too. Now, every time I hear the word ocean, it's supposed to relax me. Oh, and it works. The other day, I was in a meeting. Someone started talking about the environmental problems and the world's oceans. People said the word ocean so many times that I fell asleep. Oh yeah, I heard about that. That must have been embarrassing. 
Now half the office knows. <sighs> See what I mean? Need to get the hypnotherapy reversed. Or... I have an idea. You could try aromatherapy. What's that? It's like a massage, but they rub your skin with scented oils. Um, I'm not sure about that. I'm allergic to perfume. Well, uh, it might be a good idea then for you to take some time off. Go on vacation. Rent a little house on the beach or something. You know, on the ocean. The ocean? Oh, that's a good idea. Maybe I'll take a vacation. It's very relaxing. Lying on the beach, listening to the sounds of the ocean. Ocean, ocean. So this one is a very short video because it is not long like the others. And also it's kind of uh, relaxing. And if you can see in the video, um, they were talking about that. Uh, that is stressful time in the job because she is like very, very stressed. And at the beginning of the video, you can see that um, she is like doing a lot of things and she gets scared like very easily because of the sound of the phone. And we can like understand what is she living because we have like a very stressful time in our jobs. And I am not talking that uh, it is not something uh, good to have that kind of job. I am just talking about that in some moments uh, we are feeling a uh, very, very like stressful and we are like, a feeling that we don't have enough time to do all the activities that we need to complete in our jobs. And also it is some moments in which you are going to have a lot of work to do and you feel like you don't have time. And what is the, the, the thing with, with this kind of activities that when, when you are having like a very hard time in your job, the, the body is the one that is feeling uh, tired, um, it is hard, it, it is like, we, we feel it in our bodies, like that, um, like she was uh, feeling the pain in her body. And they were like talking about some activities that she can do to release that, uh, that is stress, that energy, that bad energy. But she was like, no, I tried that and it is not like very good. I don't feel like comfortable. Um, I feel worse uh, after that activity. And she was like that. She was like mm, uh, in a negative mood, but uh, he was listening to her and he was like analyzing the situation. And also he find the activity that she can do to relax. That was taking vacations. But in that case, it is kind of funny because he mentioned the word that make her like fall asleep and it was the word ocean. And he was like the ocean, the ocean. And she uh, began feeling like tired and she wants to sleep. And in the, that moment, she begins to relax and she goes to sleep. So in that case, it's like, um, we may feel uh, that we are very tired and we are like in the middle of a war with our body, our mind, the job, the things that we need to do in, in the house, but, at the same time, we need to think about 
uh, some situations, some activities, some uh, things that we can do to uh, stop for a moment and to, uh, to relax. Because we know that in some cases we need to do all of the job in one minute, but at the end you are going to feel sick if you continue in that way. So that was the intro video for the section number four. And we are going to continue with the topics that we are going to develop because I was saying at the beginning of the session that we are going to have a, two different topics. And um, I'm going to repeat that information because you were not in the section, in the session, um, but I was talking about that uh, at the beginning. And in this case, we are going to have like two, two very short topics uh, because we're going to have uh, the first one that is um, have and get something done. That is a very short topic because in that case, we are just going to uh, learn some instructors, how to use those words and what are the meanings that we can give to that structure. And also when we finish um, using the have and get something done, we're going to continue with the second topic that is the three word phrasal verbs. Uh, in that case, we are going to see what are the meanings and all of the things um, related to, to the topic. And also we are going to uh, make the knowledge check of the section. So, in that case, we are going to have like a couple of minutes to complete the knowledge check. And you are going to see uh, what are the exercise that you have there and the answers. And we are going to um, solve that knowledge check on the section. And then we're going to have like a couple of exercises in which we are going to uh, put into practice the information that we have there. So, we are going to begin with the first one that is um, have and get something and done. So we are going to begin with that part. But let me put the screen again. So here we have topic, have and get something done. That is the topic that we're going to develop right now, this one. Okay, then we're going to see what are these uh, structures and what are the uses. So we're going to see uh, an example at the beginning because we're going to uh, use those examples to um, get like in context about the topic that we're going to develop. So we have a question. What is the difference What is the difference in meaning between the two statements below? So this is the question. What is the difference in meaning between the two statements below? So we are going to see what are the statements that we have here. And we have number one, I cut my hair. And number two, I got my hair cut. I got my hair cut. So we have two simple uh, sentences, but what is the difference in meaning between the two statements that we have there? What do you think is the difference? in meaning, not in a structure. Mm -hmm. 
Do you have any, any idea about the meaning of the sentences? No, okay, we are going to continue. In this case, we are like uh, having a big difference in the meaning because in the first one, I cut my hair and we can translate it into Spanish. Me corté el cabello o corté mi cabello. Pero quien lo hizo? Who is the person that cut the hair? Me, myself, lo hice yo misma. And in the second one, I got my hair cut. Y podemos decir que fuimos a que nos cortaran el cabello. Me cortaron el cabello. So in that case, someone else did that action or performed that action for me. So in the first one, we can do it like this. Myself. Myself. I do it myself. And in the second one, I paid someone, I paid someone to cut my hair. And also we can say, I went to the hairdresser. So in that case, the difference is that one of these action is performed by me. And in the other one, I um, ask someone else to perform that action for me. So in the first one, I cut my hair. I do it alone, maybe in my house, because I was thinking that I need a change. And in the second one, I uh, went to, um, to the hairdresser because I need a change. And I, 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 I know that uh, it is kind of complicated to do it myself because I am not like expert on the topic. And I search for someone that uh, can help me with uh, that uh, situation. And we are going to see the meaning of the, the structure in this case. So in this case we have, when you get or have something done, you pay or ask someone to do something for you. So in this case, the use of have and get something done is that you ask someone or you pay um, someone to do something for you. Básicamente, esta parte del having get something done es buscar ayuda o pagarle a otra persona para que haga las cosas por nosotros. So that is the meaning of the structure. When you get or have something done, you pay or ask someone to do something for you. And we have some examples. In this case, we are going to have like a short a list of a, like expert people in different topics. Uh, and we're going to um, write like the things that they are doing for us, because in that case we are paying 
uh, for the service. So in that case, we have a dentist. Or optician. And in this case, we are going to get or get your teeth whitening or eyes checked. So in that case, you are paying to the dentist or the optician to, uh, to get your teeth uh, widened or your eyes checked. So in that case, you are not doing yourself. You are paying it to someone that is an expert on the topic to do it for you. Then we have a mechanic. And it says, get your car fixed or oil change. Then we have a beautician. And this one, get your nails done or leg ways. Certain house related forms. In this one, get the windows clean or the roof repair. Then we have the deliveries. Get flowers or or food delivered. And the last one, services. Have your photo taken. So in this case, you have like a clear idea about the, the topic, because in that case, you know that we are talking about something expert um, that is doing something for you. And in this case, you are not, not just asking for help. In this case, you are paying for the service, like in the dentist, like in the mechanic, like in the deliveries or the services. So in that case, you are not performing the action. You are not taking your photos because in that case, it's like a selfie. Um, you are not getting the flowers by yourself uh, or you are not going to get your food at the restaurant. You are uh, paying for someone to do that action and you are just waiting for the people to um, give you the results. So in that case, that is the... Um, like the main idea about get and have something done. And then we're going to see like have versus get. And it says that have something done is more formal than get something done.
So in that case, when you uh, want to like be more formal, um, when you are like talking, because you know that we have different, um, like different ways to express the ideas. And in this case, when you are like talking with someone that is not familiar with you, or it is not a friend, or you don't have like that kind of relationship, um, you are going to use something more formal. And in this case, it's not talking just when you are writing a document, this is when you are talking and when you are expressing the ideas that you have. So in this case, you are going to use have something done, not get something done. Because in that case, it's, it's going to sound more like informal. And that's, a, you can use it with your friends or with the people that you have like, that kind of relationship in, in which you can talk like in a very informal way. But in this case, when you don't have that, um, that feeling with the people, you are going to do it in a very, very formal way. So, and we are going to see this one, that is um, the grammar part. And we have to have or get plus something plus third form. And we're going to use this structure to construct our sentences. And this construction is like the passive because you use the third form of the verb that is the past participle of the verb. In passive, the verb B changes to show tense. And we have some examples. In the example number one, it is, and we're going to change to was made in the UK. It was made in the UK or it is made in the UK. They are, we are going to change to where they were made in France. And the verse get and have change to show the tense. The third point stays the same. In this case, we are going to like, um, change the way we are using have or get, but the, the verb is going to be in the, third, um, in the third form, that is the past participle. So we're going to see some examples more in this case, in which we're going to see the different uh, ways that we can use this structure. So let me add a, a table in here. I have one, two, and three, seven. Like this. So in this one, we are going to have get or have. Then we are going to have something. And we are going to have the reform. And I'm going to move with this one a little bit like this. So here we have, I got, or I had, what is this something? It is not like we are just going to write something. We are going to write the action that we are going to perform in that case. So in this case, I got or I had my hair, that is the something, my hair could. So that is the sentence. I got or I had my hair cut. Then we have I'm getting. In this case, we are using the gerund. 
I'm getting or I am having my teeth or my eyes checked. Then we have I get or I have my car fixed. Then we have, I'm going to get or I'm going to have and we are going to leave the spaces because you know that in that case, you are going to write something in the third form of the verb. I would like to get or I would like to have and the last one I've had, I've, or I have had, okay, en esta parte estamos utilizando el have y el get to, um, o para expresar, verdad, las cosas que alguien más está haciendo por nosotros. En este caso tenemos la estructura donde tenemos el get y el have, pero no necesariamente lo vamos a hacer simplemente en presente. Ahí pueden ver ustedes las distintas formas en las que podemos trabajar el have y el get, como es el pasado, el gerundio, el simple, eh, el futuro también. Y también podemos utilizar algunos auxiliares en este caso para completar nuestras acciones. Y en el something, eh, en la parte de something, Es lo que nosotros queremos que hagan por nosotros. My hair, my eyes, my car, eh, my book, my clothes, my cell phone. Y en la tercera forma del verbo, ¿qué es lo que están haciendo con ese, con ese algo? Eh, ¿Cuál es la acción que en realidad están, están haciendo con eso? ¿O qué es lo que nosotros estamos pagando para que hagan? And that is the structure or the way in which we are going to create sentences. Um, with the meaning or something. So that's why in that case, in the, in the last three structures, we don't have the something in the third form because you know that in that case, you are going to add the something that you are asking or paying for in the third form of the verb that is the action that, that the people is performing with your things. So. We are going to see more examples and we are going to have like a short practice. And then we are going to go to the, the knowledge check. So in this case, we have three, four, four examples. I got I got or had my haircut. And this sentence, it is in past tense. Then he gets or has his haircut. Once a month. And this one is present simple. Then we have another one I'm getting. I'm getting or I'm having my hair. Good this afternoon. And this one is part of the daily future. And the last one is I have I have just had 
I just had my haircut. And this one is present perfect. So in those cases, you can uh, use uh, these structures in all of the fences and you can express your ideas in all of the times. So remember that got and had in this case, or again and have, um, they have the same meaning. They are expressing the same ideas, but they are just changing in the way that one of these is formal and the other one is informal, but they have the same meaning. So you can use got, uh, get or have, and they have the same meaning. That is just the, in which cases you feel like more comfortable with the words. And now we're going to see what is the practice. So in this case, we have some sentences. I have eight sentences. And you are going to think about an answer for that a sentence. In this case, it's just a question. I have eight questions and you are going to think about the answer of those eight questions. And in this case, you are, um, you are not going to use an, a specific structure. You are going to just think about the answer and you are going to say it in a natural way. So I have eight questions and you need to tell me um, what is the, uh, the answer that you can give to that question. So, mm -hmm. let's go, let's go to see the questions.
So we have eight questions. The first one, how often do you get your hair cut? Uh, how often do you get your eyes checked? When did you last have your hair cut? Have you ever had your hair permit or dyed? Um, have you ever had your photo taken professionally? Do you ever get your foot delivered? Uh, would you like to have your beard widen it or straighten it? And have you ever had your phone stolen? In that case, I'm going to give you a couple of minutes and if you can like have a screenshot of the questions, you can do it right now because I'm going to divide the whole group into a small groups and you are going to ask those questions to your uh, partners and um, you are going to answer in the most natural way that you can do it. En este caso vamos a hacer esta práctica. Voy a darles tiempo para que piensen en sus respuestas. En este caso no se enfoquen tanto en las estructuras, sino en una respuesta natural. No hay que pensarlo mucho, simplemente es una respuesta la que vamos a dar a esas preguntas. Así que voy a darles tiempo, si pueden sacarle como eh, screenshot a las preguntas, porque lo voy a dividir y voy a quitar la pantalla. So, we're going to have that practice in which you are going to ask the question and then you are going to give your answers. And I'm going to give you like four minutes to, uh, um, to think about the answers. And then after the four minutes, I'm going to take you to the, uh, the small rooms or so. Let's begin.
Now I'm going to uh, take you to the small rooms in which you are going to practice your questions. Uh, we are going to do it like in five minutes, just enough time to ask the questions. So um, when you enter the room, you are going to begin asking the questions and giving your answers and all, and that's it. It is not like kind of complicated. So we're going to begin with the practice. Let me see. Yes, four. Let's go to the rooms. To the ones that are here right now, you need to enter the rooms to begin the practice. So let's go to the rooms, please. Jose, Elvin, William, Jency, please go to the rooms and Jenny also. And the question is, how often do you get your eyes checked? So in my case, I have I get my eyes checked um, one time each year, for example. Okay. Uh, I don't know if if that is correct. I don't know. Uh, I am a uh, question because the number one, how often do you get to hire cut? My answer is uh, I have my hair cut the last week. However, number three, when did you last have your hair cut? Uh, for me, it's, it's uh, equal. <laughs> uh, I think the number one, I think the number one is uh, how often is que tan seguido? And eh, te cortas el pelo. Y the, and then number three is cuando? O sea, si una semana, 15 días, así las entiendo yo. Oh. Okay. Um, it's, it's almost the same number one with the number three. Well, I don't know. Uh, what do you think, everybody? Uh, well, the number number. One, uh, my answer is uh, how often in my case, uh, each um, 15 days or one, one time uh, at month, for example. And the number three. Uh, uh -huh. no, I number one in the number one it frequency.
Do you have the questions or you are like, you already have the practice of the question and the answers? Okay, I think you are not. Would you like to have your kids? Excuse me? Would you like would you like to have your teeth witness? Um, yes, I would like to have my teeth <laughs> widened because uh, widen it. Okay, then. I, I, I really need it, but <laughs> right now I don't have the, the enough time and the enough money to, to <laughs> fix my teeth. But in the future, nothing is impossible. Yeah, that's right. The last one. Have you ever had your phone stolen? Yes. But this was one, one, one time. I was a long time ago. I was on the bus and I, I didn't notice when the person took it. But since that time, I, I, I am more uh, I try to, to not to use it on the bus or to put Only that, Chico. I think you are done, right? Yes, yes, okay. I'm going to end the room, so I'm going to uh, send the message to join the, the, main, the main session. So give me one moment. Okay. Okay, we are returning to the main session because it's time to end this um, session number two. Um, thank you for your participations. You know that you have to um, like um, practice or you need to, the space to practice uh, your English skills. So in that case, uh, when you have this opportunity, you need to take it because I was like, um, see many of you practicing the answers of the questions that we have on the document. So thank you for your participation and also thank you for being here. We are going to see each other in the next session. So we are going to see each other tomorrow. Have a really good night and see you. Good night, see you. Good night, teacher. Good night, everyone. Good night, teacher. Good night. Good night. Happy night.